Hey friends, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Denise, I'm also known as Hey Wig Sister on Instagram and Facebook. Today I'm here to bring you a wig review in partnership with Name Brand Wigs. This is a brand new style by Renee of Paris from the Orchid Collection. This is Kirby in the color Mocha Truffle. I think Mocha Truffle might be a new color. Kirby is for sure a new style, just released, and I'm here to tell you all about her. If you like big curls, long, heat-friendly synthetic pieces, and you love seeing brand new styles, this is the video for you. Stick around, we will talk all about Kirby. I would like to thank Name Brand Wigs for sending me Kirby so I could show all of you. I am so grateful when I have the opportunity to show you new styles and talk about them and Name Brand Wigs is a wonderful support of this wig wearing community. They have a blog, they have a great customer service team so if you're struggling on the wig wearing journey you can email them support at namebrandwigs.com let them know what you're looking for and they can send you some recommendations. I refer people to them all the time. I really am a fan and I've been a customer since the very beginning of my wig wearing journey. Let's take a look at Kirby from all sides. Okay, so the star of the show on this piece are the huge, big barrel curls. Look at that again. Sometimes on long curly wigs like this, you get some layering and so the curls are more of a cascade. This one doesn't really have that layering, so it does have really big curls, all heavy on the bottom. And I think this is a perfect wig for styling and updos. If you have a fancy event to go to and you're fretting about what hair you'll wear, if you like to style wigs, this could be a great one for that. A ponytail and all of these big, fun, bouncy curls would look awesome. One of my favorite things to do with a long, curly piece like this is to do a twist and a claw clip. So let me show you what I mean. I gather the hair in the back, I twist it, and then I stick that claw clip in right here, and then I let those curls spill over. A style that, and if you get it up higher, the curls will be higher. A style that looks like it took you a ton of time to achieve with a wig like this would only take you 20 seconds. It would just be perfect for those types of styles. Now this piece has a center part. I know that a center part isn't everybody's cup of tea, but when I show you inside the cap, which you know what, I'll just do that now. Might as well since I'm talking about the parting space. What's unique about this center part is it's very wide on the bottom. So you could shift it a little bit over to the side because you've got all that space. It's almost like a partial mono. It's big enough that you can get a, a sort of off center part. So if you don't love center parts, I do think you have enough room to get it somewhat off center, but you're not going to get a side part with this one. There's that lace front, it's fairly narrow, so you don't have a lot of space for that lace front, but because of the way they've got the sort of curtain bang effect, I think that's just fine. We've got ear tabs with bendable stays, an extended nape, Velcro adjusters, and the rest of the cap is closed wefted. So a lot of times in these synthetic wigs, you'll see open wefting, this has closed wefting. Personally, I like closed wefting. I struggle when the wet open wefting, when the fibers poke through the wrong side, they can be such a pain to get back the other way. And so I do appreciate when um, a wig has closed wefting. I don't notice a lot of difference in whether or not closed wefting is is hotter than open wefting. I think what matters more is the density and the permities. I'll throw her back on and we will talk about both of those things next. Now this piece is what I would consider a moderate density, honestly, kind of moderate to heavy density, but here's what's unique about it. There is no permatease on this piece, so it is very, very flat. I mean, I'm touching straight down to cap. There is no permatease on the top of this piece, so while it has a lot of hair down here, it's not full and poofy on the top. So what does that mean? If you get overwhelmed by wigs a lot because of the volume on the top, this 
does not have that kind of volume, I think it will be more comfortable. It does have though a lot of volume down here, but if you are looking for a wig that you can style in half up, half down, I mean, honestly, you guys, any type of style with this one, half up, half down, a, like I showed a ponytail, a clip, you can get that volume off of your neck and I do think this will be really comfortable. Here are my cautions though with this style. I have a couple. My first caution is that it's a very much a face flopper and these bangs, they're not full bangs. If you want a full bang, you can absolutely cut a full bang. You can trim that right up, give yourself a full bang and I have a video showing you how to do that with a thinning razor that is so user friendly, I believe anyone can do it. If I can cut bangs in a wig and I do it in that video, you can. I have zero styling skills and if I've figured it out, you can do it as well. So that's one way to manage the flopping. Another way is just to, to take advantage of this lace front. You can take, it's narrow, you don't have a lot of room, it ends right there, but you can take some of this hair and you can take a cute little clip and clip it up and then it's not gonna flop in your face. That is the lace front right there and actually on this color, it is quite good. The other thing is that, you know, they very densely knotted the parting space and the front. So for me personally, I'm struggling to get a really defined part up here. It keeps wanting to get all wonky and, and go back to the zigzag part because it's so densely knotted. I have plucked many part lines on synthetic wigs for this reason and it's really easy to do. I have a video showing how to do that. I'll link all of these tutorials for you because if you wind up purchasing this one and finding some of the same things I'm finding, really, really easy to fix. I know you can do it. And a lot of wigs need tweaking. They need to be made yours to your preference because these wigs are being made as generically as they can be to fit the majority of people. Then it's up to us to make them our own. So some of these tweaks are pretty simple to do and can make all the difference for you in the comfort of the piece. The last caution I will give you is because this is very flat, there is no permatease on the top. I do find that sometimes the fibers up here shift a little bit and you do run the risk of seeing cap. That is the benefit of permatease is it gives uh, some, it, it helps hide the cap and allows for the hair to shift around and not being able to see down to cap. Again, if you style this piece, that is going to be a non-issue for you. It's only if you wear it down like this and if you're out in a wind and this blows around a lot. But the good news is it doesn't have open wefting, so how much it will shift and show the cap is minimized by that closed wefting. Now fit, Renee of Paris wigs, in my opinion, run pretty true to average. I find that there is some variation in their cap size. Sometimes they run a little small, sometimes they run a little bit on the bigger side. I have recently had my measurements change due to significant weight loss. And I used to be a 22 inch circumference and now I'm a 21. 0.25, 21 and a quarter. I have lost a lot of weight. And some of that weight apparently was in my head. And so I have cinched this in a bit, which tells me that this is really running true to average. I'm getting actually a fair amount of extra cap up here, but because of the way that these caps are made, I don't really notice that extra amount. It's not gapping on the top. I don't feel a huge amount of bulk in the cap, but it tells me that because I'm getting that extra cap that it does run pretty true to average. I am getting really excellent coverage on the sides and it does rest right up against the back of my ear. I'm not finding that uncomfortable with this one, but look below for my measurements. I've put my new measurements below and in parentheses, I've kept my old measurements. For those of you who've been following me for a while you can compare the two just to know what where I've come from and you can judge how this will fit for you I can wear this wig comfortably even with the extra room that it gives me let me summarize my thoughts before we move on to color I really think this is going to be an awesome styling wig any type of updo is going to be super fun with this one and I really do think if, if you're a full-time wig wearer having a wig that you designate for events and updos and styling will make your life a little bit easier you don't have to you know when you find out you have an event coming up a wedding something where you are going to be dressing up it won't cause you the anxiety that sometimes we have wondering oh my gosh what hair am I gonna wear because my everyday wig isn't fancy enough and if it's synthetic it's you know 
you maybe don't have any ability to curl or restyle it, which honestly, most of us don't want to do that with our synthetics anyway. In the case of this wig, this could be your fancy hair wig. So I really think they did a great job of making this piece in such a way that it's going to be really versatile for styling. And if you can manage some of the things I mentioned, the face flopping, you know, the densely knotted part that makes it really hard for it to lay one way or the other, Again, I've got video showing you how to do that. I think this is a really cute one, and I do think a lot of people are gonna love it. So my two cents on this one, and you can go back and rewatch all of the sections that matter to you to get a real full sense of whether or not this is gonna work for you. All right, let's talk about color. Mocha Truffle. I would consider this the type of color that straddles the light brown, dark blonde category. It is definitely dynamic. We've got varying tones in here. It is pretty neutral overall. I don't really see red, a little bit of golden potentially, but I don't really see any red in here. And it is so natural looking so natural looking sometimes we get these synthetic wigs and they're so they're such a fun color and they've got so much going on that I think you run the risk of people commenting about the hair your hair color and asking you where you get it colored I think this one's really natural looking and I don't think it's going to draw any undue attention it does not have a root so it is consistent all the way through and what I'm seeing is um, the description says it's a medium, mi I'm sorry, a mid beige brown with creamy mocha blonde highlights. And I do think that's a pretty good description. The highlights are subtle. They're not platinum. They're not super blonde. It's just like a lighter tone of the base. That's why I say this straddles the line between a light brown and a dark blonde. And I think depending on where you're coming from. I'm a dark brunette. Dark brown is my natural hair color, so I tend to see colors like this more blonde than brown. But if you're a blonde, maybe looking for a winter color, you're gonna see something like this more light brown. Do you know what I'm saying? I think that's important to understand when it comes to color. Let's get outside so you can see this color outside. And let me know if you have any questions about Kirby. Thanks once again to Name Brand Wigs. I appreciate you guys so much and enjoyed showing Kirby to everyone. See you guys in my next video. All right, friends, here we go outside. It's an overcast day, which I think is actually the perfect outside lighting for these because direct sunlight really warms up colors that wouldn't typically look warm. And you can see this is very neutral. What a great light brown, dark blonde color. And then no rooting. So my wig sisters who keep saying, I wish I this color didn't come with a root, you guys are rejoicing. All right, I hope that helped. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys soon. Hey friends, thanks so much for watching. Here are a few videos I think you might enjoy. Go ahead and click on one and watch.